All right, everybody, Reggie Evers from the Front Row Report. We're in Chicago at the first ever Chicago Open Air, and I got Andy from We Came Easy Romans. Man, how's it going? Good, man. Party and live the dream. How are you? Doing good. Same. Same. Perfect. It's an oven in this media tent. It's hotter in here than it is outside, but we're good. It's a little toasty. It's not a, it's not a festival until someone's burning alive. So true. There we go. Man, I caught you on, this, on the stage earlier today. You guys tore it up. There's not, much, there's not much left of the baby metal out there. But, uh, man, you guys killed it, man. How did it feel to get out to you? Oh, it's dope, man. Uh, Chicago's always been awesome to us. And, uh, you know, we're from Detroit, so we're right upstairs. And it was dope, man. Like, I didn't really know what to expect. I walked out, and kids were like, ah! And I was like, this is going to be bad. This is going to be, this is going to be good. So it was good. <laughs> Any comparison to Warped Tour at all? Or is that something you can't compare anything to? Uh, Warped Tour's a little bit free. I think uh, a lot of the fans are, like, a bit younger. But it's cool because, like, you know, fans like, uh, that, like, Slipknot and, like, Fat Finger and you know, all those fans, like, they come out, and that gives us a chance to get new fans. So a lot of them are, like, observing, but then you have the, the front row and the other couple sections that are just going ancient. So you're like, so it was dope. We loved it. Right, so it's kind of nice to know exactly when you're going on stage when you wake up to your eyes. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Like, work where they're like, hey, you're going out at like noon. And I'm like, are you serious? I got a hot pocket, like, eating up right now. And they're like, well, you're about to be a hot pocket outside, so get on stage. And you, know, you guys are out supporting the self titled record. Yep. Came out a little bit ago. Follow up to Tracing Backwards. Coming off of Tracing Backwards. What do you guys really want to do with the self titled when you went into follow up? Uh, the writing process we did for the self titled was completely different than anything we've ever done. Um, so uh, we just went in there with a different mentality and a different, like, I don't know, uh, way of doing things. And uh, we went in there, and uh, it was the hardest record we've ever had to do. It was really kind of had to just like shed the skin and just kind of like like okay this is like new this is different but we're gonna make a leap and it's a really important record for us to get out uh it was something again that we were not used to but when we were done we were like this is awesome uh we wanted to self-title it and it just kind of all like came together uh, i mean obviously it was a lot of hard work but um yeah it was just a completely different writing process with david bendith and um, a couple of other people it was just like it was hard as hell, but it came out great. So awesome. It did come out great. Thank you. I mean, appreciate that. Uh, but man, a festival like this, man, it helps it today. A lot of the bands you play with on that side of stage, you're familiar with. You got like Lynn yep. on there. I mean, Conor Everybody. Yeah. Yep. Miss May I yesterday. Yep. I mean, Bill Switch. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it, it helps that you're in good company. You're familiar with everybody, and a lot of fans who saw you over here on a hard last year. Looks like they came back for this yep. show. I mean. It was cool. I saw a lot of like of our t-shirts and stuff out there, and definitely like some of the stuff that we did sell work work towards. So I was like, oh, it's like perfect. They already they know the drill. So I was like, when Dave's like, move here, I'm like, I see you guys. Like, you better move. And they're like, oh shit, yeah. So, so it was great. Man. Yeah, it was good. It's good to have good company, and good bands. Um, we were really good friends with Miss May I. Uh, we just did a tour with them on the Band vs. Tour. And then uh, Kill Sisters just played with them in Europe. And then uh, that lived. We've been friends with them for a long time. So really great people. And uh, you, know, you can't complain when you got friends in an awesome festival and you should not. So yeah, that's right. I feel like Tracy Dark Moon is kind of elevating you to another level in the self which is kind of helping you get up there. Yeah, it, it's kind of weird. There's a lot of like, I don't want to say like radio rock, but kind of just more like rock kind of vibe. And, um, you know, when you, our first two records are very, I guess, melodic, metaphoric, and um, that was really cool and everything, but to grow and expand and experience, you've got to just do different things. Like, I just get so sick and tired of being like, okay, here comes another, like, weird riff, you know, and uh, I think we just yeah. want to kind of expand and broaden our horizons musically. So uh, we tried something different, and uh, the reaction's been great, and uh, we love it, so, yeah. Awesome, baby. Started thinking about what I already got, I already got it all in my head. So I usually do all the album artwork stuff with uh, my dude, his name is Paul Romano, he's awesome. He does, I'll give him like an idea and he'll just make it a million times sweeter. Nice. So, uh, but I already got ideas and I know Josh got a lot of ideas and we're doing a lot of writing. So there's, uh, it usually just kind of comes in a phase and then like certain things just start hitting us and we're like, okay, like now we know what to do. So it's cool. Awesome. So after today, I know there's more festivals coming up. I mean, what's the rest of the year look like for you guys? More touring or maybe going and starting to write a little bit? Uh, well, we just re-signed, or not re-signed, but we signed to a new label uh, called Sharp Tone. Yep. And uh, so we're really excited. We're going to put out some new music. Um, we'll be doing a lot of writing. So we're trying to figure out who we're going to go with and what we're going to do. So that's still in the talks. And then we have a couple more festivals. We're playing with like Shine Down and a couple other bands. Yes. And then, yeah, we're just awesome dudes. So it'll be cool to see them and play with them. And then after that, in August, we're doing South America. And then we have another tour coming up that hasn't been announced yet, but we will be touring in the future. Uh, I think around September-ish. Awesome.
so keep an eye out for that, and then mostly just writing and recording. Awesome, man. Looking forward to it. Can't wait to hear the music. Sweet. Hopefully, today was my first became this show. Oh, shit. So awesome. I've been, I've been trying to catch you for years, and it just, you know how Warped Tour is. Oh, it yeah. just doesn't oh. happen. It's just a shit show. It's great. I love it. Yeah, man. <laughs> I've got that in two days. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go. Woo! It doesn't end. But uh, <laughs> man, hopefully, we can see you guys getting down the road. Cool. Killer show. Thanks and, uh, so much. We'll see you soon. Yeah, definitely. Oh, man.